Hey, morning. All of you are here. Oh, good morning, everyone. And uh, today, uh, we, uh, we will be at a, a bit. Uh, schedule ahead this time, okay? Because uh, we are having, uh, we just covered a, um, quite a lot of the syllabus and now uh, we are having at uh, RegDocs, the last part, it is electrolysis, okay? So this is uh, our core part and today what you're going to do is uh, same as the previous week, um, is to have a recap uh, of all those information about rec, uh, uh, electrolysis. And what else is about uh, the assessment reasons of questions and give you have a recap of um, this topic. And um, what do you feel about this topic? Is it easy, difficult or what? Now, if you think about the format of the questions, uh, all those are, I, I must say that uh, most of the uh, format has, uh, have already appeared in uh, the previous exam. So uh, to most of you, uh, you uh, if you want to excel in this topic, uh, what you need to do is to uh, get to know what is first of all, what is the electrolysis? First of all, electrolysis. Okay, so e electrolysis, uh, you are going to bring uh, about the chemical reactions by what? By electricity. So what uh, is quite the opposite of chemical cell. So for the electrolytic cell, it is a energy converter, okay? Which makes, uh, which turns the electrical energy. Uh, electrical energy to chemical energy. So what is mean by the change in chemical energy? It is brought about a type of redox reaction. While the type, uh, uh, while that redox is not spontaneous, it's non spontaneous. It is forced to take place. So what is mean by force to take place? It cannot go by its own. It needs some help by what? Supplying electricity. Okay, so this is what you may know about uh, the basics about electrolysis. Second, take a look at the term, electrolysis. So what, what, so what was it about? The, uh, the change of the product is about lysis. Lysis means breaking down. Now, a, I, try, I just want to give you some simple case of what is mean by breaking down. For example, the electrolyte. Okay, so mainly you are going to break down the electrolyte into some other substances. But of course, the more you know, uh, the more you know that it is not just uh, a electrolyte to be broken down into uh, simpler things. But also, you may uh, need to consider uh, the, uh, the choice of electro as well. Okay, so uh, these two, they are different. So this is elect electrolyte. Now, uh, this first part. Second, if you want to uh, study this topic well, of course, you need to know one important concept. What is that? What is that? We call it preferential. Discharge of ions. Do you still remember that one? So we need to consider the three uh, factors affecting the preferential discharge of ions. What are those three factors? The first one, position of ions. 
in ECS. So you take a look on the cathode. Okay, you take a look on the cathode. You are going to compare what or the the I, uh, of those species in ECS. The one which is lower to higher or higher, they will be getting differential discharge. Anyone who can tell? Yu Ji Hou. Cathode. Anode. Yu Ji Hou, where are you? You have got three ways to tell, right? First of all, you're going to tell, uh, you're going to compare oxidizing power, or you, you are going to compare how low the uh, reactivity, uh, how low the position uh, is the position in the ECS, okay? The lower position, they will, uh, the strong, the one with a higher, stronger, uh, one with higher oxidizing power, the one having a lower position in ECS, or you somebody you talk about electrons, right? Gain or lose electrons in cathode. Cyrus, you're not here. How about Yong Zheng Hao? Now tell me, first of all, electrons. Gain or lose electron at cathode, sorry, sir. At cathode. What happens at cathode? Is it oxidation or reduction? You still remember some of the wordings which help you? Yes, rec, racket. So racket, yeah, reduction, which means lose or gain electrons. Lose or gain electrons. Quite the opposite is gain, right? Oil rig. Also remember oil rig. Okay. Losing electrons oxygen or oxidation. Gaining electrons is this reduction. Gaining electrons more readily. So uh, it is uh, what we call it as a cathode when you compare the ions. Uh, the position of ion ECS. We have got three ways to answer. First of all, position. Lower position ECS, it will undergo preferential discharge. Second, the one which is a high, if it's a strong oxidizing agent, uh, it is preferential discharge. Three, uh, you are going to lose as uh, the gaining electrons more readily. Uh, we will say that ions will undergo preferential discharge. So just keep that in mind. How about anode? If you're going to talk about anode, now you're going to compare the ECS position which is higher or you are going to compare which uh, ions they will lose electrons more readily. And finally, what is that related to? You are going to tell which one is a stronger oxidize reducing agent. Okay, so this is the way when you try to have an explanation. So remember that wordings. Okay, is that clear? Second. You talk about concentration of solution. So remember, you are going to talk about halide ions only, but not other ions. The reason behind is that the position of EZS of all those halides when you compare with hydroxide ions, are the one uh, which will usually go to the formation of oxygen, uh, the position between them is rather close. So whenever there is a change 
in the concentration of halide ions, uh, they would affect the uh, preferential discharge of ions uh, by forming uh, halogens. Okay, so this is the one you need to remember, halide. So halide refers to chloride, bromide, iodide ion. Okay, so because of that, you need to consider the following wordings, very dilute, dilute, and also concentrated. First of all, please check the solution. They will be listed with description, very dilute, dilute, or concentrated of all, all the, uh, some uh, numbers, well, which tells the molarity will be given as well. And uh, second, you, you are going to con uh, make a competition between hydroxide to form oxygen gas or halide ion to form halogen. Uh, we are now uh, referring to cathode anode. Yes, that's right. It is anode, right? You are going to consider the anode only. Remember, this is the second way to, that you need to consider is anode only. So this is the second factor. The third factor uh, that I would like to talk to you about, which affects the preferential discharge of ions. What is that? Well, the third factor. Yes, it is the material of electrodes, okay? So we have got several scenarios that we are, uh, we are going to consider. First of all, inner electrode. Inner electrode. Mm. Yeah, the other one. Inner electrode. Examples, graphite, or platinum, okay? So these, um, they are set as inner electrode. So they would not, uh, if you have got this, okay? Just consider one and or number two. So it depends on the nature of the solution. If the solution is not halide containing, you just consider one, factor one, right? Otherwise, uh, for you, if you see two, factor two appearing, you need to uh, be very, very careful about the preferential discharge of ions at anode only. Okay, careful, no need. Careful, what you need to do is to consider the relative position of hydrogen ion and those metal ion. Okay, for those um, metal ions, just like copper, silver, uh, they are placed in a very low position in ECS, much lower than hyd hydrogen ion. So of course, these metals, they undergo preferential discharge. So this is what I would like to share with you. Second, if you talk about the metal electrode, right? So what are they? If you are going to have metal electrode, so you are go you are, you you need to uh, make some clear um classification of what electrodes you are going to talk. First of all, it's cathode, right? So cathode and anode they are different. If you want to talk about cathode, so would it affect the preferential discharge of ions? What do you what do you think? If you mention the metal electrode as a cathode, would factor three contribute in the preferential discharge of ions? This one, e metal electrode cathode. The answer is no. So again, you need to consider number one and or number two only. Of course, some special case, just like mercury.
Okay. If I use mercury as a cathode, what will happen? It will take part in the chemical reaction. By what? Uh, by even uh, if you have got sodium ion, uh, in which you know it is a very weak oxidizing agent, they will also undergo preferential discharge. So they will form what? A type of alloy. What is that? We call it amalgam, right? So, uh, for example, sodium amalgam. This is one of the case. This is the first part. Second, if you talk about metal electrodes, which talk about anode, so what will happen? They will usually take part in the reaction. So, what is the observation? That metal electrode dissolves. Okay. So this is what I would like to um, share with you about this. And finally, uh, you talk about application of electrolysis. Applications. So what is the application of electrolysis? You're, you're going to tell quite a lot, right? First of all, you will talk about the manufacture of some useful chemicals. Okay, for example, uh, I use this to make chlorine bleach, etc. right? So you may have uh, uh, tried to use electrolysis for help. So uh, uh, in what? By electrolysis of brine. Do you still remember the word brine? Second, uh, we would make use of that one in electroplating. A plating of a metal on a, another piece of object. Okay, for example, team plating. Is it team plating? Is it a type of electro plating? Not really. Remember, it's not team plating. Uh, for example, silver plating, copper plating, nickel plating. Now, so even you talk about plating, uh, you need to be very aware of how, uh, how we can do the plating method. Is it by electroplating or just use what? You just uh, dip the metal object or other object into the molten metal. So usually what you, 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 uh, you can see is that those metals, they are usually are placed in the low position in ECS. Do you see that? And three, a little bit out of syllabus, but uh, you may also consider is the refinery of the metal. So you are going to put the pure metal and impure metal into different places, right? So pure metal, I put it as a cathode anode, impure, cathode anode. Once you write, you say the purifying of copper, right? Yes, that's right. You're going to play, get to place where the reduction occurs. Cathode, pure metal, impure metal, uh, you put it as an anode. So I do hope it will uh, give you have a good overview of what is mean by electrolysis. Questions? Now, if not, I would like to uh, give you some more about the uh, highlights about the FAQ. Frequently asked question. Okay, frequently asked question. What questions do we find in the long questions? Okay. Anode, anodic or cathodic reaction. Okay, or you ask about overall reactions. So you may need to write down ionic half or full ionic equation. 
second is about what explain. Okay, explanation part. Explanation part of what of what? One of them um, you may talk about preferential discharge of ions, right? And three, what the FAQ? Observation. Okay, observation. What else? Four. Yes, you need to add indicator as well. I don't know. If there is no indicator, you need to consider. If you add indicator, uh, which may usually refer to the change in solution, right? You need to give me explanation. Uh, what would have changed in the uh, electrolyte and give me reason. And five, are you, uh, if you are going to get the gases, gas as a product, you may write down the volume ratio plus Y. Six, what else? The change in pH, right? Change in concentration of solution, uh, or you talk about change in pH of solution and give me reason. Okay, seven, you may ask about to draw the label setup. Usually, usually, you may be asked about drawing the label setup for electroplating. Usually, it's the actual blading. Any more? And etc. You may leave more some other FAQ by yourself, right? But uh, all those the, it, it comprises the most of the parts. Question? Can you manage? It's easy, difficult, or what? So many of you may think that, mm, well, Mr. Chin, uh, uh, we may need time to memorize. Yes, that is exactly what you have to do. So today, uh, shall we have a recap of uh, all those information today by uh, referring to the assessment reason type question? Chapter 22. Chapter 22. You take a look on this. So just like the previous time before you, I would like to invite uh, some people to uh, try them out the questions one by one. So here we are, we here. Can you see that? So we have got wow, quite a lot from sixty-eight to ninety-three. So on average. Right, you need to do uh, to answer that two times or even three times. Are you ready? Just like last time, I will list. Yes, two to three times. To start with, I will invite Lady Long. Are the one on the list, right? Lady Long will call on that one second. Okay, you are going to do the first the first three questions. First question. Let's have a try on that. During electrolysis of a concentrated sodium sulfate solution, sulfur dioxide is formed at the cathode. What do you think? Sixty-eight. You don't know. I. So you have to refer to what? Can you see the word sulfur dioxide is formed at the cathode? Have you ever get to know uh, that is sulfur dioxide? 
form as a cathode. Quite rare, right? In that you use so no uh, cathode first of all. What ions are there? Cathode. What ions approach there? Is sodium and hydrogen ion. Cathode. So you need not consider anything about the turning of sulfate uh, into sulfur dioxide. Okay, so no need. So get back to this. So it's not if it is not sulfur dioxide, what are the gases? What is the gas? Can you judge? And when the concentration of sodium sulfate in a sulfate ion is the solution is high, the prevention of sulfate ion occurs, of course not. Okay, the second statement is not correct. The first statement, of course, is not correct. Is D. So sodium ion or hydrogen ion, they will undergo preferential discharge. Like, you know. Who can help? Who can help? You know, you don't know, have a gallon. Yes, I should right? Hydrogen ions will undergo preferential discharge to form hydrogen gas. It's usually win, right? It's, it usually wins over the, all other metal ions, right? Uh, except copper, silver, etc. 69. We'll on your turn. It's D, right? Double cross. Tell me how long are they? Ox anodization can thicken the oxide layer of iron. Oxide layer of iron can increase the strength of iron. If you say that the oxide layer of iron it's not increased, right? To make the iron even more brittle. No. Anodization, the second one. The first statement. Anodization, how wrong is it? Can thicken the oxide layer of iron. If you're not right, and anodization. So what are the uh, common application of anodization? You are now referring to what? Whenever you see the word, it refers to anodization of what metal? What color? Yes, aluminium, right? Aluminium. So now, just like this one, you are going to memorize the setup as well. Are you able to draw the label, uh, the setup? How many of you? Uh, can manage to draw the setup of anodization of uh, aluminium. If yes, put a tick. If not, a cross. Just one, two. How about the others? Man Hei, Li Qin Long, Ai Chat Yin, Yu Zi Hou, Tong Ga Hou. Oh, yeah, bum. Pong ga ho. Man hai, how about man hai? Lay yin long. Sarah Xu. 
uh, 70. Uh, so remember, you need to memorize how to draw the label setup. About 70. Is C correct? C correct. So cross and take the first one. And no, is an electro connector to the negative bulb. No, it's not really. So how we unmemorize this statement? Uh, and no, it is the places which attracts what? And ions. Well, and ions, you know, is minus negative charge. So of course, and no, it is positive electro. Do you still remember that type of saying which help you memorize? However, if you talk about uh, the chemical cell, it's quite the opposite. And no, it's negative electro. Do you still remember? Chemical cell, you talk about anode, it is negative. But if you want to talk about electrolytic cell, anode, it is positive. So this is what I would like to um, remind all of you, this part, okay? But uh, Rackhead and Ox, that saying is correct, okay? Still correct, 71. 71, Man hey. In the both chemical cell and the electrolytic cell, wow, this is what I have already given you the clue, right? Mom, hey, are you here? B question mark. Red cat always true, right? How about this? Now, in the chemical cell, NO is, my, is negative electro, electrolytic cell, NO is positive electro. How about cathode? Cathode is positive, right? How about electrolytic cell? Cathode here, it is negative. Cross and take. Manhei, do you, do, do you see this one? The one as I, I, I've just highlighted it. Can you see that? I just mark across here. Can you see that page? Manhei? Yeah. Okay. Cap the screen and try to memorize this and circle this. Put 1,000 of oh, 10,000 actually. 10,000 star here. 72. One Z Y. Yes, very, very authentic questions referring to the statement that I just said before. Okay, chemical cell and no, all wrong. It's negative, right? Electrolytic cell. In no, it attracts what attracts in iron, so it is positive, it's quite the opposite. And box, okay, electrolytic cell is, is still an box, still wrong. 733 Chan Jun during the electrolysis of five molar nickel to iodide solution using carbon electrodes. Aldi is a major product form in the anode. And second statement, aldide ions are preferentially charged because of the concentration effect. Chan Jun Hei. Yes, that's it. A. It's causing effect logic. But uh, for the long questions, so the, the sentence for this part, I need to have a slight modification. How? What is the saying in long questions? Zhu Zhenfei, please remember. 
would describe it as what? Iodide ions are much more concentrated than hydroxide ion. So you see that you use the word much more to make a difference. Now, please remember that. 74. Choose and fight. 74. Let's see, both are wrong. How wrong are they? Just please spot the, the mistakes. What's wrong with them? What's wrong with that? Choose and fight. A cathode. What is the major product? Yep. So it is the what is the product? It's not potassium. It is hydrogen gas. Okay, and this part quite the opposite. It is a weak oxidizing agent in hydrogen ions. So because of that, hydrogen ion prevents the charge to form oxygen hydrogen gas. It's hydrogen gas. Seventy-five. One see why your turn. During the electrolysis of dilute copper two sulfate solution using copper electrode, oxygen is formed at the anode. Hydroxide ion is a stronger reducing agent and sulfate. Can you see the word? Now, of course, second statement is correct. The relative position of hydroxide ion and sulfate ion is different. How about the first statement? Once you are to figure out what happens to that statement, yes, copper is oxidized at anode or cathode. You just say copper. Yes, that's right. Okay. This is anode. I'm referring to anode. It's not oxygen swap. It's oxidized. It's cross and take C. Thank you. 76. Um, Chen Jun Hei have answered, right? Zhu Zhong Fei have answered. Lei Zhen Ge. And I tried in seventy seven. You see, oh, seventy eight. And see, my seventy nine. Lei Tong eighty. During the refinery of copper containing zinc using electrolysis, the blue color of the blue copper tube using electrolysis, the, the blue color of what, what is that? Well, very, very strange that sentence. Oh, let me change a little bit. The blue color of the Per two solution, the copper two sulfate solution remains unchanged in intensity.
Can you manage to answer? You think it's A? Mm -hmm. How about the others? All agree? Lay down. Do you agree? Um, first of all, second statement, you find it is incorrect. From NO to cathode, it should not be from the cathode to NO. Right, this statement is to position this cross, but how about this one? It's not, it's, it's not, it's not a tech. It's also a cross. How come? It's not remains unchanged because of what? Sink. Now, during the refinery of copper containing sink using electrolysis. So you need to consider the two electrodes. Cathode, it is copper, pure. How about anode? It is copper, impure. Impure copper get mixed with zinc. So once I put it as an anode, what will happen? Now, if the electrolyte is covered to sulfate, what will happen? The copper will dissolve. How about the zinc? The impurities appear. They will also dissolve. So both type of distribution will involve losing of electrons. But at the same time, all those electrons lost has been transferred to the cathode side, right? No matter those electrons come from the losing of zinc or copper, they still use it to combine with copper two ions in the copper two sulfate solution to form what? To form copper. So what will happen finally? For anode, which means zinc to form zinc ions, Copper, they will form copper two ions. We've got electrons lost, right? The electron lost will be finally go back to the cathode, right? Which have a gaining of electrons. But you have got that too, only. So what will happen to the next change? The next change is that, what will be the next change? The color of the solution is paler, is of the same intensity, or darker. I show you. What do you think? This statement is wrong. The, the number of copper two ions uh, reduced, right? Cannot be fully compensated by the uh, dissolution of copper. So yes, that's right. So the solution is becoming paler. So this is what I'd like to remind all of you, okay? Now put, please put a star here, right? To get to know, it is a rather difficult question, I must tell. 77, I in your turn. Just could you please continue about 77? Cross for the first one. Mm -hmm. Silver plating of iron, iron object is the anode. It's not anode, it's cathode. Because you are going to do the reduction of a metal ions to metal, which means the cover and to, 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 to plate. The electro plate a metal on a piece of the iron object, so it's cathode cross. Yes, I reduce at the cathode. So this is D. Thank you. How about the electrolyte? What could you, could you please suggest 
a suitable electrolyte. I love your handwriting, I'm so artistic. It's silver nitrate solution. Yes, that's right. So you rem remember, it is silver nitrate solution as electrolyte. Very, very artistic. 78. Sarah's you. <laughs> A very big take for the first statement. How about second statement? During electrolysis, get ions attracted towards the cathode. Yes, there are two irrelevant statements. Then see why. 79. Seventy-nine. Yes, it is a, a type of a cause and effect. The second statement explain the first one. Samson, 80. You, you need to do 81. Uh, 82 is going. 80, uh, first of 80. 80 is percentage, right? Spot the mistake. Samson, first statement. Mm -hmm. So, yes. Yes, yes, it's a silver. It's a silver metal. It's a silver metal. So this time the one which plays in a lower position in ECS wins. Okay, you're not going to check the ions in lower position in ECS if you consider cathode. Thank you. How about 81? From Gaho. Tong Gao, are you here? You don't know? Try. During electrolysis, uh, so uh, of uh, dilute magnesium sulfate. During the electrolysis of dilute magnesium sulfate, you will be universally get using carbon electrodes. A blue color appears around the anode after some time. Sulfate ions preferentially discharge at the anode. Of course, this statement is not correct, right? Sulfate, 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 right? So remember the term sulfate. No, they would not be very preferentially discharged. Okay? So the blue color is an anode. So what happens to the cathode anode? First of all, focus on anode only, right? Anode, two ions. What are two ions? Hydroxide and sulfate. This one will not win, only this. Hydroxide, they will turn to what? Yes, they will turn to water, oxygen, and four electrons. Living behind, so water, will continuously, right? All water will continuously self-ionize to replace the loss of hydroxide ion, right? So leaving behind is this one. They will left behind, they will be in excess in the solution. They will be left behind, remains unreacted. So which makes the solution acidic. So if I show you, say that the solution becomes more acidic, 
if I use universal indicator of four sins of blue, it is it's nearly red or orange, right? So the first statement called not correct, second statement not correct is D. Do you understand? So put a star here, right? Because that what that questions mostly appears in long crack. 82. 82. Trey Garwin. During electrosis of 0 0.1 molars, competitive rise is introducing platinum electrodes. Chlorine is a major product form at a cathode. The chloride ion is a stronger reducing agent than a hydrogen ion. C, cross -antic. How wrong is the first statement? How wrong is the first statement? Now this is what we still we still have what? The solution is still very dilute. Okay, the concentration of chloral iron is not high enough. Okay, to undergo preferential discharge. So it is not chlorine to be preferential discharge. Instead, it is oxygen. Where is the first point? Second, can you see the word cathode? Can you see the word cathode? What I just mentioned, right? You need to consider cathode and anode, respectively. The two, the one is totally not correct, right? Cathode, it is capital ions and hydrogen ions. Capital ions wins to form copper. Anode, it is hydroxide ion and chloride ion. This time, hydroxide ion wins to form oxygen. Okay, it's wrong. That statement is very, very wrong. Second statement is also wrong. Do you know? Chloride hydrogen ion. Chloride ion, it is a reducing agent. While ox oxygen hydrogen ion, it is an oxidizing agent. It is a very uh, illogical comparison. Can you see the word? Very, very illogical, right? It's not the way to compare. You cannot that you are going to compare reducing agent, but one of them is oxidizing agent. So it's wrong. Can you can you get a point? Check away. You are pumped. Yes, A, cause and effect. I don't want to mention too much, Allah. About 84. In Tina. Yongjing Lam, 85. 84, Yongjing Lam. You think it's A, both statements are correct, it's, you, your path is correct, but this is it's B, not A. Why? Um, well, this statement is correct. But this is not because of the concentration effect. I can give you some kind of example. If I don't use mercury careful, I use graphite electrode. Can you guess the answer? Is it sodium ion to undergo preferential discharge? No. It is hydrogen. Can you get the point? 
So what is the hidden message? You need know, which means the electro, the material of electro plays a very important role here for you to determine uh, the preferential discharge of ions. Do you, can you get the point? Can you get a point? It's B. How about 85? Liu Yong, 85. Correct, it's a cause and effect. The second statement can explain the first statement. Well, the, this band is not. 86, 86, go back to the first one, like you know. Lei Jin Long, are you here? It is six. What is the what is the what the, what are the answers? You think it's just the A? You think it's A? Now dilute, copper to sulfate solution is electrolysis with carbon anode and a copper uh, cathode. The blue color of the re electrolyte remains unchanged. The net effect, transfer of copper from the cathode to the anode is, is the same, right? These two statements is not correct. It's reversed, right? So this statement is, correct, is incorrect. This statement is also incorrect. Do you know why? Now, you need to consider anode and cathode material, respectively. So, for anode, uh, but you use carbon as an anode, so you need not consider the effect of uh, the material of electrolyte right? is inert. So, leaving behind is to consider sulfate or hydroxide ion, which wins. Yes, that's right. This one wins, okay? So what will be the product? They will turn to oxygen. How about cathode? Cathode, even though I use copper, it doesn't affect the content of the solution, right? Because it is always a place where reduction occurs. So leaving behind, I attracts cations. I attract cations into it. So what are the cations? We have both copper two and hydrogen ion. Which one wins? Yes, that's right, it's copper, right? Copper two. Is covered to, to form what? To form copper. So what will be the net effect of the solution? Is it darker blue or paler blue? Well, of course, it's not remain unchanged. It is what? It is the solution becomes paler. Do you understand? It's the like, you know, can you get a point? Ugalum. Ugalum. It is a 87. It's C. How wrong is the first statement? Hydrogen ion is liberated. Now you want to compare with hydrogen, although they are cation. So it's not anode, it's cathode. Thank you. 88. 88. Lai Wan Zeng. Yes. 
reduction takes place at the cathode or the oxidation takes place at the anode, right? This time I say at uh, cations, except electrons, they are discharged at the cathode. Right? Or you, quite, you, you are going to do it in, in the opposite way. Okay? It's the Manhe. Manhe. Uh, 89 is a correct cause and effect, right? How about 90? One see why. Ninety. Iodine is liberated at the cathode in the electrolysis of two molar nickel to iodide using carbon electrodes. Iodine and I reduce to iodine at the cathode. Mm -hmm. So, okay, both are wrong, right? We have got two ways to consider. First of all, if you consider iodine liberated at the cathode, is anode. Iodine ions are reduced to, is not reduced, right? Reduced, is it reduced? It's oxidized to iodine at the, at the anode, right? This one way. Or how about cathode? One zero, can you tell? How about cathode? If you consider the cathodic reactions, what will be the product? Mm -hmm. Have you ever talked? Uh, talk about nickel plating. Mm. So remember, uh, 91. Chen Jun Hei. Oh, last three questions. Chen Jun Hei. And again, are you here? The solution left in this, the electrolysis of, so, of concentrated sodium chloride solution using cath uh, mercury cathode and graphite anode is alkali. Hydrox hydron ions and hydrox ions are discharged in the process. So what is the choice? A, B, C, O, D. It's D, how wrong are they? Is sodium that is discharged? Yes, that's right. Sodium ions are discharged, or and is correct. But uh, the whole statement is not correct. How about the first statement? So, what happened to the concentrated sodium chloride solution after the process? It will turn to what? Nathan Kitt suggested that hydroxide ion discharge is acidic. So if you say that sodium ion and chloride ion, they are discharged, what is left behind? Now we have got two solutions, right? Sodium ion, chloride ion, hydrogen ion, and hydroxide ion is come from water. Finally, I circle that too. So what will be left behind?
O neutral. So what is the change in the concentrated sodium chloride solution? What time is left? So what is the change in the concentrated sodium chloride solution? Yes, it become more in dilute. Okay, so again, crop, circle that, put up the star here. 92. During the refining of the impure copper using electrolysis, the concentration of copper two ions in electrolyte drops gradually. During the refining process, uh, oxidation occurs at NO1, reduction occurs at a cathode. The first statement is not correct. Tell me how incorrect it is. Of course, this one, you need not argue racket and loss, right? No change. Sorry, change. This one is correct. It's B. Why? Impure copper will contain other metal impurities. Okay, so they will also undergo, right, at NO, right? They will also undergo oxidation. So the all the electrons lost, right, will all be gained by copper two ions in the solution. So finally, uh, they will get they will get a respective number of moles of copper two ions to be reduced. But uh, but how about on the uh, NO side, right? The electron loss comes from two sources. One is copper, one is metal, those impure metal. So what is the hidden message? The, the copper two ions to be reduced cannot be compensated by the dissolution of the impure copper, okay? Because part of the metal is not copper. So what will happen? So what is the consequence of the cover two ions concentration? It drops gradually. This question, this question, it is very similar to the previous questions. Can you tell? It's very similar to the previous question. Which one? Yes, 76. Can you see that? Very similar. During you know we find a copper containing zinc copper the blue color is not remains as pale. Then the net effect can can you get a buy? Very similar. So this is what I would like to talk to you about. Ninety two. The last question: Who is the lucky guy? Lei Zhengji. Lei Zhengji. What does it mean by nickel plating? To plate a layer of nickel onto the copper object, right? So nickel, nickel two ions will be reduced. How? I need nickel two ions to be reduced and go back to nickel. So where do you find the nickel two ions? From what? From the electrolyte. Okay. This cross. How about second statement? Reduction occur at the copper object. Is this tech? Why? Copper as a cathode, cathode attracts an ion, red cat, they undergo reduction to form nickel. So it's cross and tech. Major gate, can you manage? 
You understand? So how about the others? What do you think? What do you think about this? Nice, difficult, or what? Easy, difficult? What do you mean by that one zero? I cannot I cannot comprehend. Could you please elaborate more about the statement? What does it mean by at least no need to end at 10 a.m.? How about the others? How about the Posaris? Another deal? Samson, Munhei, Chu Gao Wing, Ria Bun Yun Tin Yao. About you, what do you think? About your level of understanding? One Z Y, what do you think? So you need more practice on that, okay? I see a more number of P is uh, less than five. So this is what I would like to remind all of you here. This, remember this, okay, please. Remember this, uh, the, the concept of electrolysis, okay? Remember this one. So uh, I would cap the screen and return all of, uh, to all of you. Okay, is that clear? So I would like to stop it here, and tonight uh, we will start over on the next topic. What is that? Organic chemistry. Okay. Bye bye.